In this video, we can have a look at uh, redesigning the Gutenberg block completely, and we want to see if we will still keep the layout and design, or at least the content added inside WordPress in that content area. So we're going to change these content blocks and see if the content will remain the same, even though we've moved it around. So to do that, uh, we already have one content element open, which is this one. So that's this area here, and you can see that we have several edits that have been made. So I'm going to refresh that page. And here you can see the different areas. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just change content USB type X, Y, Z and material and we'll make this design is material. Right, so here we have our block and we've just changed some of the content and we're going to update that. Right, so that's updated and now when I view my page you will see that that in fact shows the updated content. Now what we're going to do is change all these designs now and see what happens. So I'm going to go to the first one, which is this one. And now what I'm going to do is inside my layout here, what we'll do now is we have a div and in that div we have the heading. So what I'm going to do is just head over to the div. We're going to head over to the and we're going to change it completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the heading out of the div and the text out of the div and the link text out of the div. So I'm moving everything out of that div and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this with a div and then I'm going to put this text now inside that div. So that div and what I'm going to do now you'll see that has a no set width, so we're going to set that width to 60%. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here to this div and I'm going to set that width to 40%. And then here we're going to set that layout like that and we're going to stretch it. And then what I'm going to do is change that background image there. Let's just have a look, advanced. No, that background belongs here. And I just want to have a look here and see. So left and top. So I'm going to change that to 50% um, and I'm going to change that to 50%. So now the image and we're going to say cover. Right, so we've set the to cover left and top and no repeat. Right, so now we have our image and we'll just uh, we'll leave it as a scrolled image. Right, so there we have left 50%, top 50% and it's centered and you can see now we're going to give this um, and we're going to right align everything as well. So we're going to do something crazy like that and we'll just do okay so we've completely changed that design um, and you'll see it's affected some of the others so that's great and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move everything around here so now what I'm going to do is take this div, move that in there, take this div move that in there and then what I'm actually going to do now is get rid of this column section completely. So there we've actually removed the columns that it was in. We've changed it around. We're going to save and now let's go and have a look and see how that affects the site. So that's what it looked like and let's see what happens now.
and now you can see that it has actually kept all that content even though we've moved it around completely so you can go in and redesign whatever you need to do move stuff around and the original content remains and you'll notice that we took the, the USB type C which was in that position moved it down these two items were in the bottom row and we've moved them up to the left hand side so yes you can move your content around and it's still remembered. Now if I go into WordPress and I refresh man there you can see it's that jumbled up design. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try another experiment with the top content with the hero image. So I want to change this hero section around completely. So we're going to do that and while oxygen is loaded we're going to uh, you need to. we're going to change this uh, and we'll just change some writing here so we'll update that to see what oxygen's up to all right so oxygen is loaded and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this around completely but just to show you that the changes we made in WordPress have been affected. So now what I'm going to do in my hero section, I'm actually going to add some columns. So I'm going to add two columns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the heading to the first one. And I'm going to move the text to the second one. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a button under all of that. And then I'm going to just do a standard button and we're going to change the background color there to white and the text color to black so okay so there we have our button we're going to save that and now let's head over to the website and refresh and you can see these are our super products you need to see this and double click to edit the button and of course I can go into WordPress now and make that edit. So yes, it is possible to edit the content elements without losing the content that has already been entered into those areas. So we'll just do that and here right so that's pretty much how you can set that up and save we'll have a look so yes it is possible to edit existing elements add elements and the original content that you've edited in WordPress then doesn't change hope you found that useful thank you for watching